Hi everyone, good to see you watching my first video covering Binance Smart Chain wallets that can display your NFTs. Um, maybe a little introduction first. So I am recording this video because um, Binance announced their first NFT platform on Binance Smart Chain, obviously. And I think it's still a good timing to get on, uh, to get on board early as there are already some NFT marketplaces on Binance Smart Chain that allow you to trade uh, NFTs. So I think it's worth to get familiar with them now and later on take a full advantage of uh, Binance Smart Chain NFT platform. So I've got here some posts and announcements from uh, Binance about their NFT platform. So first post is on Binance blog introdu introducing NFT marketplace. Uh, you will find there's some info about the platform fees, how are they going to reward the artist and uh, basic platform uh, functionalities. Um, the next one is a Binance announcement about the innovative creators program, but mainly the artists that uh, that want you know it's mainly for the artists that want to participate. So it it shows all the benefits for them, like promotion on Binance social media, and uh, requirements to participate. Uh, next is the Binance NFT landing page, where you can subscribe to be notified about the platform updates. Um, and the last one is, uh, yeah, so it's also a post on Binance blog uh, where they announce some of the artists that will participate on the platform launch day. So as you can see, yeah, you have like some artists and uh, yeah, some footballers, some gamers. Anyways, uh, I'll leave the links in the description to all of the, the articles here. Going forward, um, yeah, let's go into the wallets maybe. I think that for, for starters, it's a good idea to get to know the wallets that are available out there. And there is actually 10 of them. Let me just maybe open up the, yeah. So here it is. You go to the Binance uh, website and then get your wallet. When you view it, you have all the 10 wallets. Um, however, it's actually only three of them that will allow you to view the NFTs directly in the wallet and actually only one of them that will allow you to view the NFTs on your web wallet. Mm. But we'll dive into this uh, later on more. Now, when it comes to viewing NFTs straight in the wallet, there is one important thing to know. We have two main NFT token standards on Binance Smart Chain and this is BEP721 and BEP1155. And so far, I have already been able to view the BEP721 NFTs in uh, MetaMask and in Trust Wallet, uh, but also, but only on uh, mobile versions. The other one, the BEP1155, well, most of the times you will only be able to view them on the marketplace where you have bought, you know, the NFT in my items or my collectible stuff. However, there is one wallet that shows them all, both BEP721 and BEP1155, uh, directly in the wallet. But yeah, we'll get to that. Another thing is that uh, do not panic if you won't see your NFTs in the collectibles tab in your MetaMask or in your Trust Wallet. Sometimes you just have to add it yourself using smart contract address and uh, token ID. I think I can even show you this here. Yeah, so you just go to the transaction, then you have the contract address here, and when you go to your NFT, if I have it open, uh, yeah, here. Yeah, here, it's my artworks. Yeah, you go to the token, and then you you have the token ID as well. So you can use that information to add the token yourself to the wallet. Yeah, but going back to the wallets. Um, yeah, one more thing to know, and it's worth to mention, is that on some platforms like Bakery Swap, so this the one that I just showed you, uh, you will only be able to purchase the NFTs with their native token. So in this example, this is going to be a bake token. So you will have to exchange your BNB, BNB to bake first, and only then you will be able to buy the you know the NFT. Uh, so maybe if you, if we go to the marketplace, you will see that all the prices are actually displayed in bake token. You see here four bake, ten bake. 
But let's dive into the wallets now. So starting with the trust wallet, and also I have this little emulator here. Uh, I have installed all the wallets uh, on the emulator, so we can you know go and see how it looks. So starting with the trust wallet, this is the one where you can actually view your, view your NFTs. However, it's only on the mobile version. There is no desktop version of the wallet. As you can see here, it's it says App Store, Google, and uh, yeah, Android. So how it how does it look? I I have supplied my private key from my you know from my wallet here. I have supplied the same private key actually to all the wallets here. So we are supposed to see the same thing in all of them. You have your tokens tab here, but, but then when you go to collectibles, you will see this artwork NFT. And actually it's the same that you can see here in my artworks. So Bakery Swap allows you to also you know view it here. Yeah, but going back to the trust wallet, so you can see the collectible here. Um, let's move on. So this is the first wallet where you will actually see your NFTs. However, it's only mobile. Then we go to MetaMask. Uh, is the second one. Uh, so let me switch here to MetaMask as well. So it looks very similar. Uh, although you have MetaMask, uh, MetaMask also as an extension to your um, to your web browser. It looks like this. If it's gonna open, yeah. So it looks like this. Very actually very similar to what it looks on mobile. However you will not find the NFTs tab on the desktop version, even if even in the extended version. So you have to have it on your mobile phone and only then you will be able to see the NFT here. Uh, and also worth to mention is that for MetaMask, you actually have to configure the, net, the Binance Smart Chain network before you start uh, doing transactions, but it's very simple. And uh, I'm also going to leave a link uh, in the description here. Going forward, yeah, we have also, so looking at the wallets here, uh, we covered the two, and now we have the Binance Chain Wallet. This is actually only uh, available for the um, browsers. So basically, you will only have it as an extension to your Brave or Chrome browser, whatever you're using, and you won't see any NFTs here. It works good. I actually use it myself for all the transactions. However, you won't be able to see the, you know, to view your NFTs here. And also, there is no mobile app for this. Moving, moving on, we have the Math Wallet. So well, let me just bring it up here. Yeah. So it looks nice. I mean, the the mobile app looks fine. You have your collectibles tab. However, you will see no collectibles here. So it's it's not supporting NFTs yet, even when I go to Binance NFTs. Of course, with all of the apps I have showed all like so far, uh, you can always go to the dApps and go to the like bakery swap when you type it here, then uh, you will be able to see the NFTs, but through the Mm, marketplace that you bought it in. So this is the Math Wallet. Mm, summing up, Math Wallet cannot view NFTs, but it has this browser, which is at, at least it has this. Um, moving on, we have the mm, the Token Pocket. So let's uh, let's open up that. Yeah, and here you have the la yeah the landing pages. Uh, yeah, so the math wallet you you actually have the extension, the web wallet, but you cannot you cannot view the NFTs on any of these. I have tested that. Then you go to the token pocket. You have the mobile and the desktop app. So it looks like this, looks fine. Uh, but you don't even have a collectibles tab here. So only by going to discover and then typing the address of your marketplace, and then you will be able to see it as your wallet is going to be connected. Uh, so that's for the token pocket. Then we have the ontology. Uh, let me go to the... Yeah, so we have it on uh, App Store, Google Market. I think you also have it as an extension, but I'm not sure though yet. Uh, opening this up. Yeah, so I had this issue on my iPhone actually because this is emulating the Android system. On my iPhone, it's not displaying the you know 
the amount here. I don't know why it happens. Uh, and then, but here you have the collectibles tab. And what is even more important, uh, interesting, I have this Alpaca City NFT, but it says zero. Uh, so I guess it's just like a marketing play because it sends you to the D app where you can actually buy the Alpaca, which I don't really like. <laughs> I mean, this sort of behaviors where, where when they put the marketing things and you don't know what happens, like why do you have this Alpaca thing or something. So yeah, that's for the Onto wallet. And now we go to the mo the most <coughs> the most interesting one. So the Arcane Network. So I just discovered this today. Uh, and the thing is that to log into this, you use your uh, email address or your Gmail account because this is like a web wallet. So you don't have any app for mobile phones. You don't have like an extension to your browser but you have it like, I don't know, like a cloud wallet. However, the most important thing is when you go to inventory, you can actually see all of your NFTs, even those, well, you see here it says actually ERC1155 because I, I guess they're just, sometimes they're just not translating uh, the BEP standard correctly because they maybe they just mi migrate to the Binance Smart Chain. The same actually happens with the MetaMask. So whenever you want to do the transaction, uh yeah maybe send yeah anyways whenever you do the transaction then it says uh sometimes it says the uh eth like eth like you were sending eth even though you are sending the binance smart chain anyways with this wallet it's really cool because you can actually see all of them i think for the plat the platforms where i bought these two NFTs, I did it for test. Uh, we can actually go there. So it's the Babylon Junior. So I, as you can see, my wallet is connected. It's uh, it's actually, I think it's MetaMask connected here. I have I can see my um, NFT here. It's actually a video. Maybe that's why it's not showing up. Yeah, here you can see that. So maybe because it's a video and uh, the Arcane doesn't support it, or maybe the um, BEP1155 doesn't support the, you know, like the graphical part of the um, NFT. Anyways, it's a, it shows you, at least it shows you that you have something. And the other one, I think I have it from here, are NFTs. Uh, yeah, let me just go here. My NFTs. Yeah, no not this one anyways I have it somewhere uh, so yeah that would be almost it there was one more wallet here you will also see the BitKeep wallet you have the landing page here however I have installed it and I was uh, yeah let me just maybe show you uh, yeah I have installed it but I was unable to connect it with my um, I was unable to supply to import the wallet by providing the private key. It ha the same happened on my iPhone, and uh, I didn't really know what with that, but it doesn't work. So summing up, we actually have only three wallets. It's it's Trust, MetaMask, and uh, Arcane wallet that will display your NFTs. However, Trust and MetaMask will only display it on the mobile version, so you have to have the app on your uh, mobile device. And there is only the Arcane wallet that will display your NFTs, all of your NFTs, actually, uh, in your web wallet. There, well, I have tested it actually as well, and you can uh, you can access it. Let me just maybe I even have it open here. You can access it, uh, yeah, here. So when you go to your browser and you log into Arcane Network, you will actually be able to access this also on your mobile device which is kind of cool oh, yeah, let me just try that yeah but this is these are mainly mainly the three wallets that you will yeah so you can see it actually it looks even nice uh, yeah but the thing is that you are using your email address so you have you know your address will kind of be associated with your with your email address and also it's like it's some company so you're supplying your data your private key probably to them as well, so a little bit risky. Um, so I think this is it for the, for today. Thank you very much for watching, 
and uh, hope you guys are gonna like it. Bye bye.